What skills does a person need to be empathetic? So empathy is a cognitive, uh, something you do cognitively, you think about it. It's not just emotionally based. So with that, there are certain skills that it takes for a leader to be empathetic and to show empathy. One of those skills, the first one is listening. And while we all know how to listen, this is not listening to solve a problem. It's not listening to develop a course of action very quickly. It's listening to understand. You're trying to understand what those individuals that you're leading or even those the peers or seniors that you have above you, you know, what they're going through, what that situation is. The second skill that I would say you need for an empathetic leader is understanding. A leader is trying to understand. You're trying to visualize the human terrain within your sphere of influence, the people that you're leading, to understand what their backgrounds, their beliefs, their culture, what they bring to the table, and how it shapes their experiences and their understanding of their situations. So you're listening to understand. You're trying to develop that deep level of understanding. The third skill that you need to be an empathetic leader is reflection. And, and, and reflection is the ability to take that understanding that you've gained to, you know, through listening to that individual and then reflect on what's really going on. What's really the underlying things that are happening within that situation that you can affect change on or that you can just even offer, you know, a, assistance with. The, being a leader, we always try to solve a problem. Our first instance, whenever we, whenever we start listening, is how can I fix this? How can I solve this? How can I make it better? How can I accomplish the task? When we're trying to be empathetic, we need to listen to gain that full understanding of what that individual is going through. Some great questions to ask yourself as a leader if you're trying to show empathy to use those skills is, how would I feel or react in that situation? You know, it helps you understand a little bit better about what that individual is going through. Uh, it is a cognitive process. A lot of times people get stuck on, what if I don't have time to fully sit down and listen and understand and, and visualize, you know, and, and reflect on it? You know, it, it, I need to make a decision now to help this individual soldier out. The good thing about empathy is those skills can be practiced and they can be spent, you know, and you get quicker as you practice those skills. It can be daunting task at first, but it will get better over time.